So it's currently 8 p.m., meaning 11 hours before my first clinical on L&D for my senior preceptorship. I just went to Walmart to grab some stuff because I'm very much an anxious eater when it comes to clinical. So here I have celery, onion, and bread. I'm gonna make chicken salad, maybe not for tomorrow's clinical, but for the rest of my clinicals. And my recent snack fixations have been yogurt, and I've been topping it with blackberries and protein granola and then pretzel nuggets. I really like how there's protein in it because of the peanut butter. I'm gonna prep all my snacks tonight, so I will show that in a bit. This is my third time having this meal, but I'm still like looking forward to it because I walked on treadmill for 60 minutes, so. So healthy. Wow, I'm so full and I still have leftovers. And you already know I'm gonna look forward to the fourth time I eat this. Hey, I'm determined to make a couple of ads tonight for TikTok. The first one's an eye massager and the second is lashes. I've been putting it off, but like, okay, it's the perfect time to make it tonight because I'm gonna be like, oh, putting lashes on for my first clinical and then the eye massager, oh, self-care, you know? Okay. You guys wanna know how badly my food fixation is with this? I'm not even hungry and I barely even wanted a sweet treat and I still made this. Okay, it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna start preparing all of my food and snacks for my 12-hour shift tomorrow. Just a warning, it's gonna be a lot because one, I'm just like, again, I'm anxious when it comes to like my food intake, let alone for 12 hours. I've never done a full 12 hours, so I'm gonna pack quite a bit. And even if somehow it's not enough, they do have a cafeteria there, so... Yeah. Okay, this is the final spread that I'll be bringing to clinical. That was so tiring, which honestly I'm glad because I need to sleep soon anyways. It is 1040. I'm gonna take a body shower and put on these lashes and then I should be ready to sleep. Just did my lashes and filmed an ad for that. Now I'm up a hundred dollars. Can you believe that? Anyways, it's now 11.15. I'm gonna get up at like 5.30, I think. So I'll see you in the morning. So I'm on my way now. I just finished eating my breakfast. It took me like 20 minutes to eat because I was eating while I was driving. So I ate the steak, eggs, and tortilla. Usually I only eat an apple, but I've been seeing like how high protein breakfast really gets you through the day. So I'm curious to see how that'll like affect my body. Cause I feel like when I eat such a big breakfast so early, I feel like I get hungry earlier, but hopefully that's not the case. And hopefully I can last until my first break, which I don't know when that'll be, maybe around like 10. And then like I'll eat an apple to like re-up. So that's where I'm at. It's really fun, honestly, just like experimenting with all this stuff. I'm currently an hour into my shift. My nurse got an early break, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's funny because you know how she said she'd meet me in the lobby? So I was in the wrong lobby, in the wrong building. So, you know, typical first day. Um, so I was running a little bit late, it was a little bit hectic, I still had to change, and so that was the start to my day. But I was with my two classmates, and so we got to experience that together, and so it's fine. And my nurse was chill about it, she didn't care. And so yeah, ever since she's oriented me, I logged in to the charting system and we looked at our patient's chart. Um, she's in charge of a C-section today, so it's a scheduled C-section. Our patient's gonna come at like 10, I know, it's scheduled at 10.30 and our patient's gonna come at 8. So that's soon. Um, so yeah, first update. Okay, so I'm currently halfway into my shift. I'm on my lunch now, literally an hour after I made that first update video. I almost passed out. I started to see it, my typical, you know, low blood sugar symptoms of things were starting to get black and I was starting to feel clammy, but then I ate and then like 10 minutes later I had to go leave the room again because I was feeling those symptoms. So I realized I just get anxiety and it doesn't have to do with my blood sugar. So as I was on my way to go sit down in like the lobby, I saw one of my classmates and she told me that she also almost passed out. So it's a thing, it's real. It's probably just like first day nerves. But yeah, my nurse was so supportive through it. I also just saw my first C-section, the whole process, the whole thing. The woman's body is amazing. The teamwork in the OR is amazing. I was asking the dad if they wanted photos. I was taking photos of them. Um, so that was a cool little thing I was able to do as a silly old nursing student because I haven't been doing much, honestly, just observing, which is kind of like ideal, especially for the first shift. I'm eating my chicken and claws I made last night, and honestly, I'm so glad that I felt strong during the whole delivery because the whole process from like anesthesia stuff took like an hour. I'm glad I didn't feel clammy or felt like I needed to pass out, so 
I'm improving. So I'm currently nine hours into my shift. They had cupcakes in the break room. I told myself not to get one, but like, <laughs> I deserve it. We've had one patient the whole time and we just transported her to postpartum probably like an hour ago. So it was a really good experience just like being with mom the whole time and really getting to know her um, pre-delivery, during delivery and post. I'm gonna devour this. Okay, I'm driving home now. I was there for 13 hours. But I have to say, I'm glad there's no traffic back home. I will say that is definitely a big pro with the nursing hours. Um, I don't really hit traffic rush hour on my way there and I don't hit it back. So I'm thankful for that. Also, I feel pretty good. Like I don't feel drained. I'd like to thank Alani New. And I also like to thank the fact that I got my top pick for my preceptorship. No matter how hard it gets, I will just always be able to fall on that. that I'm grateful that I got my top pick. It was a really fun day. My nurse is so sweet and calm and just promotes like the best learning environment for me. I didn't feel too overwhelmed with information. She just knew how much to say. So I'm really thankful for that. I'm going back in again in two days. So tomorrow I'm gonna be recovering only to again prep for my next shift. The second half of my shift was definitely very unexpected and just showed me that as a nurse, you have to just be willing to adapt at any time. We spent a lot of time in the OR which is normal for a C-section, but this was a little bit different because the mom had to get a surgery for something completely unrelated to her pregnancy. And so my nurse's job was to monitor the fetal heart rate and the mom had twins. So she was monitoring the fetal heart rate of two babies for the duration of like 45 minutes. And so she's amazing, but she took it so gracefully. It was pretty complicated having to do a non-OB surgery because they had to do a lot of preventative measures just in case the mom had to deliver. And so seeing all the communication and advocacy that my nurse did for her patient, for the mom, for the two babies was just really nice for me to see as a nursing student. But yeah, I learned a lot today and I feel so fulfilled. I'm so happy I'm on l and I couldn't have asked for a better nurse, better first day experience. But yeah, that'll be my last update for the night. I'm looking forward to eating the same dinner that I ate last night. Thanks for tuning in. It's honestly such a full circle moment because the one and only YouTube video I've posted for nursing school was a year ago. And it just so happened to be on my l and day. And I only had two l and days last year because it was my OB rotation. And here I am now again, a year later posting an l and video. Just so crazy because I was like so happy making that video and reflecting on my day. I was just so smiley and look where I am now. It's just so crazy. I'm definitely living out so many of my dreams right now and it's just so amazing. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye.